Hey, Lama here. Welcome to Preparing for Ark Survival Ascended. In this series, I started out fresh on the island on official PvE. This is Ark Survival Evolved, but I will be limited to only items and creatures available in the base game on the island to give a realistic perspective on what starting out on Ark Survival Ascended might be like. Today's adventure is number two in the series. Having leveled up our character to a point where we won't die too easily, it's time to get serious about tames. And if we want to get around the map, flying is essential. So let's tame ourselves some flyers, shall we? So we've got a heap of narcotics and some arrows left over from our leveling episode. Let's see if we can light the fire so we can see what we're doing. Nice. Alright, smithy. Okay, so we got regular bows, but they're no good. We need to get ourselves a crossbow. So we've got plenty of uh, engram points. Let's have a look. Whereabouts the crossbow? Must be a little bit down. Must be down with the metal tools. Uh, should probably just type crossbow in the search. Uh, got trank arrows, so we've learned trank arrows. That's good, we'll need those. Ah, there we go, crossbow. Okay. That's better. And we should have what we need to make one of those. So let's go ahead and craft one. We don't have any obsidian for a magnifying glass. That's fine, we can get one later. We don't really need one for what we're doing here. So let's craft ourselves a crossbow and grab some gear to go and tame ourselves a Pteranodon. Probably the easiest flyer in the game. And we'll use that to uh, get ourselves an Argentavis, which is a bit more of a tanky all-rounder. Um, and we'll probably use the Argy for most of the playthrough. But first things first, Pteranodons. Let's grab our gear. Actually, I might repair this stuff before. Let's repair our metal pick and let's repair the hatchet as well just in case we need them I'll grab our arrows some narcotics our spears I uh, don't have any food, all my food is spoiled overnight in the uh, preserving bin, so maybe we'll just grab ourselves some berries. Now, I have to say also this, um, this is during an EVO weekend, so um, unfortunately I would prefer to do this series on one times, uh, but I, it's hard for me to only do my um, videos during the week because I work, and so I have to do some on the weekend, and on the weekend, almost every weekend now, we have an EVO event, so um, this is on two times rates, so the gathering rates are higher. Uh, the leveling episode we did was on one times, but the uh, gathering and the taming that we'll see on this episode are on two times rates. Uh, but we'll talk about that as we go through each of the tames. Okay, so just trying to make the most of the time, even though it's night time, there's still stuff we can do. So, got, uh, got some berries, got some Mejo berries for food, and we've got some Narco berries. Uh, what should we do? There, we can always. Don't need all those narcotics. Now we can make some trank arrows. Uh, we won't use, we'll probably just use the narcotics for the trank arrows. For the pteranodon, the narco berries should be sufficient. Uh, the narcotics would be just a waste. So we 
while we're crafting those train carriers, so you'll notice that uh, made some significant base improvements uh, since uh, the end of the levelling episode. So we've got ourselves a decent stone base. We still don't have a roof, uh, but we do have walls, and we've got a uh, we've got smithy. Uh, still the same stuff as we had before. Um, I've just relocated it, and we've got a slightly bigger base that we can put our teams inside. So good stuff. I'll just finish off crafting these tank arrows and then we'll head off and find ourselves a Pteranodon. Nice. There we go. Alright, let's put the fire out. It's probably going to get real dark. Whoa, there we go. A little dark. Okay, we're going to head over on foot and let's see what we can find. Okay, so we're over here, uh, we're over in that um, area with all the rocks where the Explorer notes were from the previous episode. So it's a fairly safe place. Um, Pteranodons spawn pretty much all over the map, but uh, if we're going to have to um, take one down and wait for it to tame, this is a pretty safe spot to do it. And there's one. Level 50. Mm. Okay, not the best, uh, but... Oh, hang on a minute. There's another one behind it. What are you? Oh, you're green. You are level 80. Okay, yep. Maybe we'll take that one. That's better than 50. Why not? Okay, so this guy, we can... We just need to wait for him to land. Um, then we can bowler him. And a couple of shots with the crossbow with trank arrows should take him down. There we go. Bowler. Oh, her. I should say. All right, let's load in the trank arrows. One shot, one more should do it. Two shots, and she's out. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna put the regular arrows back in the crossbow. And now we need some meat. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, we've got some dodos. They won't give us a lot of meat, but they'll give us some. It's better than nothing. Alright. Remember we take the pig for meat. And do we get his hide? Okay. Oh, come on game. <laughs> Alright, let's try let's try again. And the pig. Uh, at least we got some meat that time. Let's see what else we can find, shall we? Ooh, moss chops. Chunky monkey. Yeah, okay. Level 85. We can... Oh, there's another one up there. What's that? Let's see. Switch. Uh, you're also a level 85. Okay. Oh, some compies. All right, let's get rid of those three compies. Oh, four compies. Okay. All right. Oh, five compies. Oh, shit. All right. Whoa. Okay. Oh, this is reminding me a bit of that scene out of Jurassic Park. Okay. Ah, kick that. Broke a spear. Please don't let me get killed by compies. Come on. Alright, I think we've got him on the run. And come on. Last one, yes. Alright, is that going to give us any meat? More than we got from the dodos, to be fair. It, isn't it? I think so. Okay. Ah, oh, back to the moss chops. Let's. We're going to take out the. Eh, we'll leave the green one. We'll leave the chalk mint one. We might want to uh, tame that at some stage. Some. Um, go for the brain one. I think. All right. 
bowlered, let's get the crossbow out. And we should be able to take this hopefully before the bowler breaks. Preferably. Oh, it's feeling like the bowler's gonna break. He do damage. They must do damage when they break out of the bowler. That's weird. Okay, there we go. We got it. All right. Nice. Okay, you're going to give some meat, aren't you? For sure. There we go. That's it. Nice. All right. Okay, let's check on the Pteranodon, feed it some Narcos. Now this guy needs, uh, I think it's, now if we were on one times for a level 80, we'd be looking at 30 raw meat and that would take an hour and 15 minutes and need 58 narco, uh, narcotics I should say, or 273 narco berries. So because we're on two times, it's half that, 15 raw meat. Uh, and should take 37 odd minutes and about 100 narco berries which we have with us so let's craft ourselves a campfire we've got some meat here we can cook up some meat that's going to be better than the narco uh, the mijo berries for our character and then we just got to wait out the team okay nice 37 minutes. It's going to take a while. Now, we do need a saddle. Um, so, one of the things that we need for a saddle is chitin. So, we're going to need... Um, come across the beach because you get uh, trilobites on the beach and they're a really good source of chitin. So, um, and on this area, you always find them. So, just go along the beach and see if we can find any. All right, so I did the full length of the beach and didn't find any <laughs> after saying that. They're always along this stretch of beach. So let's have a let's have a dip in the water, see if we can find any under the surface. There must be some along here somewhere. I'm almost certain of it. They're always here. Okay. Still not seeing any weird. Oh, what was that? Oh, no, that's a fish. Fish. Hey, there we go. That's it. There they are. Alright, let's get the crossbow out. We can fire a crossbow into water, thank goodness. And don't go too deep, my friend. Okay. Couple more shots. These are tanky little things, to be honest. And they, they move... I'm not very good with the crossbow. They move a little bit quick. Let's get some oxygen. There, there we go. All right. Um, I always forget. I think it's hatchet for chitin. There we go. Well, that did pretty good. 96. That's all right. I won't knock that back. Bit of air. Let's go and get the other one. That's probably enough for the saddle, to be fair, but we do need um, uh, we need to make an orangey saddle as well later on, and we'll need some chitin for that, so we'll take as much as we can get for now. Alright, there we go. Get some arrows back, get a hatchet out. 136, sweet. Okay, I think we're good. That should do us. Let's get back to our Tyrannodons. Oh, air. Air's a thing. Okay, right. She's doing okay. Not too bad. Let's see. Um, Alright, saddle. Tyrannodon saddle. Let's type it in the search this time. This is going to be a lot easier. Yay, there we go. Yep, 75 
chitin, so we've got plenty there. We need some fibre, and we can craft ourselves a saddle. Okay, so let's go and gather some fibre, make ourselves a saddle, and then get back to that pteranodon. Make sure nothing's uh, going to attack it. chuck some meat in it won't be ready to tame yet um, but it's I think it's only going to take on two times it's going to take like 15 meat or something like that so it's not like it's going to be a waste if we were using kibble then we'd probably wait until like fully starved tame wait till it was ready to uh, tame up before we put the food in uh, but meat's fairly easy to come by so I don't think we have to worry too much about that all right we done. Yeah, it looks like she's done. Alright, we're gonna have to wait this out. And, uh, oh, one more bite. And we'll bring you back when she's tamed. Right. And there we go. Oh, Pteranodon. Cool colour. Alright, stop you following. Let's whack a saddle on. Nice. And we are airbanned. Good start. First flyer tame. Let's get back to the base. And we can start preparing for the next one. Alright, here we go. Still haven't put a roof on. Uh, <laughs> and let's name you. Change name. I always call my first Tyranid on this. Bit of a shout out to uh, the Simpsons. All right, let's grab some gear and move on to taming an RG. All right, so. Argentavis. Uh, now, this is the spawn map. Um, so the green areas show all the places where they spawn. But these are the three areas I normally focus on. Now, I've been to the far left. That's just past Red Ob. Uh, there's nothing there. Someone's built a huge base there, so it's probably blocking the spawns. I've been to the far right, which is Giga Mountain. Uh, no Argies there, believe it or not. A couple really low level ones. And so the next one, this is like Metal Mountain. Um, this is where we've ended up. And I've tamed them here before. Um, this rock here right in front of the mountain is a pretty good space for uh, whacking a trap down. Not much can get you up here. So you're fairly safe and you can kite them down here fairly easily. So let's have a look and see what we've got in the area. Do we have anything decent? Uh, got a couple over there. What's that? Uh, level 10? No. that one level 15 no okay let's keep looking there's one over there there's plenty in this area so lots to choose from uh, level 45 nope okay you're all ass let's Okay, level, level 90, that's not bad. We might end up with that one. Level 25, no. What about you, golden boy? 140, that's our RG. That's the one. Okay, let's, let's have a look. Now, I could try and make a trap down here in this area. But to be honest, around this spawn area, there are lots of things like scorpions and um, carnos and kentros and things like that. So not a great spot to leave an RG knocked out on the floor. Um, so I'm tempted to go back to that spot I mentioned before and build a trap there. So let's do that. Alright. Here's where we're going to put our trap down. 
Now the trap I'm going to use is a Captain Fat Dog trap, so I'll leave a link up the top um, to his uh, video. So he does some really cool traps, but his RG trap is one of my favourites. It's super cheap and really easy to use, um, and certainly early game, even late game, but early game, it's it's a great trap. So let's place our foundation down. It only takes one foundation. Um, I won't tell you what it takes or anything like that. Click the link to go to his um, video to uh, see how to build one. He's the expert. Uh, I'm just going to whack this one together and then we'll uh, kite our Archie. Alright, here we go. Get some stamina. There's the RNG over there. Let's go and get its attention and kite it back to the trap. So we've got a little way to go. It's a little further from the trap than I would prefer. Uh, but the trick with these, uh, particularly on a Pteranodon, is you have to go super slow because the Pteranodon, even when it's not sprinting, will still outrun an RG. So you have to kind of pause and wait for it to catch up. And, because the problem is if it loses interest, it will just fly off and, you know, wander off on its own kind of thing. Um, so I don't want it to bite me, but oh, I think that's too far. Yeah, see, he lost interest, started going down. Let's give him a little, a little, little bit of a love kiss. All right, now let's see if we can maintain this sort of distance. Uh, if we just fly at the same rate and we stay close enough to the RNG, he will, you know, he needs to be just close enough where he can almost smell us. Uh, and he will keep flying behind us. There's the trap down there, bottom right. We're going to head down there. All right, let's go nice and easy, does it? Brilliant. Oh, ow. Okay, ow, ow, ow. All right, so we need to get as low as we can. Bring the RG down low so that he flies into the trap. We can fly through like that. Whoop. Whoop, did a barrel roll, didn't mean to. And there we go. He is in the trap, so he's not trapped though. So we need to open the door to trap him. So let's just hop off the pteranodon. There we go. And once we open the double doors, bang, he's trapped. Oh, ow. Of course, once we open the door, he can bite us. <laughs> There we go. So now he's secured in the trap. And all we need to do is knock him out. Good. Save something to eat. Get our crossbow out. And let's start knocking him out. shot in the head. Okay, now you see how he's done that now? He's turned away and he's no longer aggroing on the trap. So he's now torpor running or fleeing. Um, so if he was not in the trap, he would no longer be attacking us. He'd be flying away from us right now. A uh, couple more shots and hopefully he should be down. 
we'll take him a little bit slower now because we definitely don't want to hit him once he knocks out. Otherwise, that will damage the taming effectiveness. Okay, one more. There we go, he's out. All right. Now, this guy will be out for like an hour and a half. Um, now, we can tame it with regular meat, uh, but preferably we're going to try and get some prime meat. Uh, we'd need 14 prime meat, and that should take just over half an hour. So, we've got plenty of time. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so we tried killing oranges, uh, killed about six or seven, got one prime meat, uh, and ended up finding this um, this alpha raptor. It's only a level 20, and it seems somewhat distracted. Oh, and now it's not. Alright, so... I did a lot of that. Um, with this guy, I tried kiting him into the Brontos to get them to kill him. Um, he kept getting distracted like that, and I kept shooting him. And then in the end, I waited until he was bloody enough for me to finish him off with the Tyranodon. And there we go. Alright, we got 18 prime meat from that. We only needed 14, so we're good to go. We can now head back to our RG and tame it up. Maybe we'll just see what's in this bag first. Oh, no we won't. Let's get out of here. I don't know what's in the bag. It's not worth losing my prime meat. Okay, back to the RG. And we've got everything we need. Now, if this was on one times, uh, we'd be looking at needing 27 raw prime meat. Uh, and if we had 27 raw prime meat, that would take an hour to tame. Still uh, would not need any narcotics. But if we we're going to use raw meat, it would take three hours. And then you'd need some uh, some narcos to keep it down. Because um, it stays knocked out for like an hour and a half. So you need like a hundred narcos or something. 108, I think, according to Dodo Dex. But we're on two times, so we don't need that much. This guy's almost tamed up now. Let's close the door. All right, when... Um, when it's tamed, it should already be following us, so we can fly straight back to base. There we go. Nice. Done. Alright, come on my friend, my new friend. Let's show you your new home. Well, there we go, not a bad day's work. We got ourselves two flyers, a Tyranodon, and then we used the Tyranodon to get ourselves an RNG. Nice start. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Look, if you did, give us a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, maybe chuck us a comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next video when we'll look at what we're going to be taming next. Maybe some harvesting tames. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you later.